New at 5.30, TSA says Florida is part of a dangerous trend. The Transportation and Security Agency says nearly 200 passengers have been caught with guns at the airport. That's just so far this year. Yeah, and Central Florida tops the list with about one out of every five weapons recovered at Orlando International Airport. News 6's Brian Didlake takes a closer look at the issue and what's being done to get results. Unfortunately, there is a surge in the number of guns that are being brought to checkpoints across the country and right here in Florida. A Sari Koshetz, a spokesperson with TSA, says since 2009, TSA has noted a dangerous trend with guns being brought to airports nationwide. In 2009, TSA stopped fewer than a thousand guns at federal checkpoints at the airports across the country. And last year, we stopped nearly 6,000. And that trend continues into 2022, especially in Central Florida. Out of the nearly 200 guns TSA says it has confiscated at Florida airports, OIA leads the way with 42. A TSA says that they've been looking into why guns being brought to airports have been trending upwards, saying what they found for most people is that this could have been avoided. We think there are more people owning guns, but also, unfortunately, people are not paying attention to what's inside their suitcase before they enter the airport and before they enter the checkpoint. A TSA warns if a gun is caught in someone's possession at the airport, it can result in a civil fine up to $13,000 and possibly a criminal charge. The airport security agency says a person can travel with a firearm, but it needs to be checked in luggage. But you need to declare it to the airline at check-in. It must be placed in a locked, hard-sided case and be unloaded. But it's the responsibility of each traveler to know what the law is on the other side of their trip. In Orlando, Brian Ditlake getting results, News 6.